Hey, you guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we have Tara and Crystal on panel with me. And Tara and I had kind of planned we were going to do a very well laid out live that kind of went through, you know, the background history, the court documents, the who's who in the case, um, all of that kind of thing to try to help piece it together because there's so many names that it's really confusing for a lot of people, including myself. Um, and so that was the plan. And then the news broke and the plan changed. So I think what we're just going to do this evening is. Um, Are you there, Carrie? Oh. Yeah, I had feedback. Oh. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. That was what it was. Okay. Um, yes. So that plan changed. Um, what we'd like. Yeah. So what we'd like to do. I think Crystal. So, somebody's got the uh, YouTube going in the background. Let me double check that it's not me. Does that fix it? I found a tab. Can you hear me? It was probably me. Okay. Oh, that could be. Okay. So, all right. So, um, so, yeah. So, uh, the other night when we did our live, we just really just kind of wanted to keep it focused on the, the women, Veronica and Jillian, and kind of, you know, the experience with the community, things like that. I felt that was very important. We weren't able to answer many questions at that time, even though we did have a lot of information. But I kind of feel like now that there have been the arrests today, um, that we could we can answer quite a bit. Um, we can answer a lot more questions tonight. So that's probably the best way to do it. I know you guys have a ton of questions. And um, so Donna's start pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread is loaded with pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Tara wants pepperoni pizza. Apparently, so, that's so, awesome. uh, so yeah, just, um, you know, if you've got questions, put them in the chat. Um, there is a Google voice number that I can put up here after a bit. If you'd like to come on panel and talk, you're more than welcome to do that. You don't have to show your face. Um, I just ask that the chat be very respectful. Um, and that goes to all the families involved, including those that have been arrested. And I'd like for you to keep in mind that just because one, <clears throat> because one family member or two have been arrested, it certainly does not mean that the rest of the family is like that. And I know, for, I know that they're very heartbroken. So please keep them in, in mind as well as Jillian and Veronica's families. So that's what I have to say to start it off. Tara, do you have anything? Uh, just that this has been quite the journey with you. Um, what started off as me just kind of validating a Facebook group page has turned into uh, so much more than that. And um, I'm glad you let me help you out, come along for the ride, support you because it's it's been important to me. I don't know either the one or the families, but it's been important to me. So it's getting to this day was pretty, um, it's not the outcome we wanted, but at least we're, we are getting somewhere. Definitely. Definitely. It was, it was kind of emotional because I, I just got home late last night and I was like, man, I, if I just stayed one more day, one more day, cause I really wanted to see it through, you know? But um, there, I, I just, I really had a feeling that uh, there wasn't any more places that we could possibly search. So, and, and we were kind of right about that. So um, with that, there is Tracy Pearson. Thank you so much for becoming a member. And I saw another one, mm -hmm. Lisa. Lisa has been with me for quite a while. She's usually with, with me on trials. And Lisa gifted five memberships. So if you got a membership from Lisa, please reach out and tell her thank you. And welcome, Mia Beto. Welcome. All right. So questions. Um, and we won't be discussing other creators in here. Let's just so just put that to bed right away. Um, so the first question, I've read there could be more arrests. Any thoughts on that? So I can go first. Tara probably has her her um, own thoughts as well. 
I do feel like there very, very possibly could be a couple more arrests. I'm hoping that there will be. So we have five. One of the names, so the five that have been arrested today are Cole Twombly, Cora Twombly, which is his wife. Um, they are the parents to Frank, if you remember our drive. And Frank, you know, kind of made that little comment in our uh, Facebook group that night. Those are his parents. Tad Colum, obviously, yeah, that is uh, grandma's boyfriend and mm -hmm. grandma herself. And then there's a Shelly Harmon. Now, I don't know the connection with Shelly Harmon, but Tara has a little information on that because she's good. Uh, but that Shelly Harmon is not a name that has come up with me at all. So those are the five names. But yes, I do think that uh, there potentially could be uh, maybe one or two more. And I'm I would agree with that. And let, uh, I'll let you talk, <laughs> Tara. No, I, I, I do think that will, it's highly po possible that we'll see a couple more arrests out of this um, just because of it, it, it's such a big convoluted web, but it's, I would not be surprised. I'd be fairly happy. In fact, if there was a few more arrests to get everybody, get the, get the band back together, so to speak. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, yeah. I, I feel like they're, and, and when I think like more arrests, they may not act, actually be like directly involved with, um, you know, what's happened with Veronica and Jillian, but it, it could be arrests in other, uh, other ways yes. for, for other things, I guess. Um, that is Correct. all, I feel kind of all kind of connected together. Yep. That's how I would. Yeah, I, I agree. There could be a lot more going on with it. Um, hopefully the background noise is not too bad. Um, hopefully the women are being recovered right now. Jillian's mom said Jillian has passed and the, the grandmother confessed. She did post that in our Facebook group. And that indeed was Jillian's mother. And our hearts go out to her. Um, I know that there is an area that Tad Colum, the grandmother's boyfriend, uh, that he leased, um, some land that he leased. And currently there is a small excavator on that property um, as a recovery effort. That's surreal. It is very surreal. I'm also getting some information, Carrie. It just came in that it looks like some of the activity today has been around a, a brick school. Yeah, very interesting, yeah. Which would make sense because I believe um, that the Twombly couple that was arrested live near a brick school. Yep, they certainly did. That was that oh. brick school we were going to go search, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's I think that's the one that um, had been reported that somebody had been down there but got ran off by, uh, by yep. Granny. Yes, so it's, that same it's, day that we were going, somebody did get ran off by her. And then uh, we were quickly, we, we, we were, they, they made it known quickly to us that we weren't welcome out there either. And let me tell you, I was, I, I wanted to be able to come home in one piece and uh, law enforcement didn't need any more trouble on their hands. So that's not what we were trying to do at all. And, no, you guys did great. Um, Gun Nut, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. I'm getting a, a lot of new fans. And there has not been a press conference yet. I don't know. What do you think on that, Tara? I think it, it might be maybe tomorrow. Maybe they will. I'm not sure. I think they still have some work ahead of them. So they may not do anything until uh, they have a little bit more information for the public. But those are just my thoughts. They very well could do one tonight. They could do one tomorrow. But I'm sure they will do one very soon. I think they will too. I don't know that it'll be tomorrow for the same reasons that you spoke to just now, Carrie. There is a lot of information to go to. Five arrests for me that we feel very confident are connected to the case. One more that maybe is that wasn't quite hitting our radar the way that we probably would like for it to. It wouldn't surprise me if they waited a couple of days to kind of get their ducks in an order so they know what information they want to release to the public because that's been the strategy with law enforcement this entire time is to minimize giving information to the public let everything kind of run its course and um, quietly um, put together the information they need to bring them to be able to arrest them now yeah. the other thing to go to that is i'm hoping the real arrests and not 
and you think they're going to hold them and re release them later on. But with Granny confessing, maybe this is the maybe this is the um, the first part of the end of the of the end of the chapter. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, not only did they have um, uh, Tiffany Adams and I'll say her name now because she has been arrested. Um, that is the grandmother. There is also the Twombly's um, one of their daughters actually mm -hmm. um, assisted in this. And I tell you what, she's a teenager and the strength that that had to have taken for her to be able to do that. It has to be incredible. My heart goes out to her. I mean, the uh, there's so many children's lives that have been impacted and will forever be impacted. And um, yep. man, if it and it, she probably was a huge piece to solving this. And um, you know, she's kind of a hero in my eyes for a young girl. So that's yeah, it's amazing. So, so just to clarify, when we say that she had a part in this, it was a positive part. If you could call yes. anything positive, she was. She's not in any trouble at all. No, not at all. She she played a very vital, positive role in this, mm -hmm. and uh, one that would be extremely difficult for even most adults to do. So mm -hmm. she's uh, pretty amazing, and I've heard nothing but you know she's she's a wonderful kid, always has been. So um, that's that's great. So uh, is Frank a suspect? Well, God, we hope so. <laughs> I've heard conflicting stories and this is just what I've heard. So this isn't, I can't back this up by fact. Um, I actually, Fra so Frank is the other, the girl we were just speaking of, that is her brother. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that Frank is actually the one that took her like to where she needed to go. Cause she had, she had to leave the area. Okay. My understanding is that her brother's the one that took her. I don't know if that's true or not based on the comments he made. I kind of find that doubtful, but I, I mean, do too. It, you know, but maybe he's looking out for his little sister. That's a whole different scenario than a stranger on Facebook that you feel is attacking your family. So, um, you know, it's, it's highly possible that he's not a suspect. However, I still think that there's going to be at least one or two more. I would yeah, be shocked okay. if there's not. I would be too. I, I really would be. Um, and it's interesting, despite Carrie and I kind of falling into working together on this, me supporting her, it, I got conflicting information about Frank as well. I had, I mean, there's, Carrie would hear something and I would hear something. You try to piece everything together. And so it's it, based on his activity, like Carrie said, in the in the group, it doesn't look as promising as you would like for it to, unless he was trying to be passive aggressively cryptic. <laughs> which is a lot of thought processing in my opinion, but anything is possible. Was there a woman named Thatcher arrested? I didn't see that name. Did you Carrie? No, the only name that we were not aware of was Shelly. Was it Shelly Harmon? Shelly Harmon, Harmon is yeah. the name. And, uh, and, and like I said, Tara knows more about it. And I'll let you talk about it, Tara, because I think you've kind of dug a little bit quickly because you know, I, I don't know how much time Tara's been on it, but but Tara's good, so she she'd get it quick. Um, but that is not a name that I had ever heard at all. Period. I've never even heard of the lady. She was in her Facebook group, and I can remember seeing yeah. her, some of her posts. Um, I didn't really see anything that stood out really, you know, to me. She didn't get banned, so there's that. Um, no, yeah, yeah, she wasn't banned, <laughs> no, and because there's a bunch that had been. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm, I'm, we're still working on that connection. I know I'd seen the name before. Maybe it was through the Facebook, but I thought we had something before. And so I'm working with um, the, there's some individuals I have in the background. So it's not all me doing all the work. I've got some folks behind me that are amazing um, individuals. I've been lovingly, lovingly calling them cookie or corner cutters because they, they know how to, they can direct me. They can give me information that is just amazing and valuable. And even though they don't think it is, it has been truly great in giving me direction and then supporting Carrie as well. Um, what we do know about her since her, since she has been arrested, we know that she doesn't have much of a, a record. I think the only thing she's really been arrested for or had any, any interactions with the police before is a speeding violation. So we are, I don't know if this is maybe 
a, a close family friend, if this is one of the little church members that they intertwine with, if maybe it's a nanny or somebody close to the home that uh, maybe it's an obstruction of justice type of charge, like it's not direct or it is, I don't know. We're still um, kind of putting that together a little bit, but it's, it's weird because she did kind of pop out of nowhere. So uh, it's hard to say. We're, we're going to keep working it though. And we're going to figure it out because that is what we do. Yeah. Um, we do have somebody in our chat, um, who does know. Okay. So, uh, the, there is somebody watching our live who happens to know Shelly Harmon and she is telling me, uh, it was a personal family matter. Okay. Um, her and her son got drunk and got in a fist oh. fight. Oh. <laughs> face, oh. face palm is what, she, what this <laughs> person said. Different son than the one I know. So, so it appears okay. that maybe that was a family matter and maybe that's why she, you know, she wasn't really on the radar, but I, she, but she did know who Tad and Tiffany were at least. I'm positive of that. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. So okay. Shelly Harmon, I'm, we're going to say for now, because just because we do have somebody that knows her personally. Yeah. We've that, got it cleared up. Uh, that she probably is not involved. Okay. So with that said, yes. I'm going to expect about three, <laughs> three more arrests. Then. <laughs> right. So it's now, and it's really important, I think, to point out, we had a, an arrest earlier in the week that it was a name that was tied to everything. <laughs> we had seen them kind of pop up and it turned out to be completely unrelated. There was a lot of excitement surrounding it. And so that's why we ask questions and we kind of let the, if we, if it's related, we'll find out because when you, when you get a name like that, when you get a, like a clue to the puzzle like that, it will lead you to the next clue one way or another. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, uh, Oh, treasure hunters, uh, no national treasure. One clue leads to another leads to another. And so it's, it's unfortunate that these arrests occur in this timeline because that is, that's, that could be negatively impactful to her when it has nothing to do with it. Absolutely. Just like, you know, when the kid was, well, he's a kid to me when he was arrested the other day and, you know, it was, but that's, you know, I mean, it's, it's natural. And I, I did speak with his father and I told him that that's just kind of a natural thing. You know, mm -hmm. the kid knows the, the other people involved, what have you. He, you know, he's, he's ran into some trouble and the father was very well aware but he was making it clear that his son was not involved. And um, he did tell me the charges, but that's, you know, things get pieced together real fast like that. So thankfully we have had family or friends that have yes. been able to come out and be like, no, 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 it was, uh, they got drunk. In it's, a it's fight, that. You know <laughs> I mean? Like it happens. <laughs> uh, how are Cole and um, it's uh, Cole and Cora involved? Well, we don't know exactly what they have done, obviously, but what I can say is Cole and Cora are married. Now, when when we have talked about this compound thing, I kind of want to clarify that the best I can. It's mm -hmm. not a compound like you're thinking, of, like most would think a compound. Um, I used to live overseas. We lived in a compound and it was like a big, huge apartment complex surrounded by gates. And it, that's not really what this is. There's a lot of they, they each have land out there. They live on that land, that kind of thing. Is that how you would kind of think of it, Tara? And then, and then they like, yeah. they have these weekly meetings and they call themselves God's misfits. Well, that's where you're hearing the word cult. And I also don't necessarily know that cult's the best word, but I don't really know another word for it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. That you was actually to explained to me a little bit. Yeah, that was ex when this was one of those tips that came in my way. I think it it showed up on the Facebook group, and we kind of shrugged it off, like, eh, okay, whatever. And then somebody said, "Hey, I don't know if you saw this post," and that post was specific about some of the property out there and the dangers therein. And they said, "Hey, you probably need to look at the school. It's down um, on a corner. Um, it's not an actual school anymore, but the property is still there." Um, and there's some individuals that live down there and this cult gets together down there. And when I inquired further about the cult, they said, well, you have to think of it, you know, don't interpret it literally for some of us here in the area, you know, our churches are, um, our organizations like that are religious organizations. They're pretty much open. You want to go try it. You can go in the door open and be welcomed for the most part. They said, but this particular one is an invite only situation. And there are only certain people that, um, Everybody knows these meetings happen on Sunday for the most part, but not everybody's invited. And then there's some other 
little things that have been said that happen within the confines of this uh, religious uh, group. That's not like they're not, they've not been described as religious extremists or anything fundamentalist, nothing like that. Just very quiet to themselves. Um, but nobody wants to be, nobody wants to in, in look into it further there. They just, there's a lot of uh, different things that go on with this group that people are scared of them for the most part is what it comes down to. And so there, as far as we know, we've not heard of any, you know, sacrifices or satanic things or anything like that. They're just their own little tight knit community within a community is how she told me that the cult is being described as. Right. That's kind of how I'd summarize it. Um, maybe some of the practices aren't things that we would practice. Um, I did get some inside information on it. Um, it's not, they're not having Bible study. I'll tell you that they do have their little potlucks and there's, there's a whole lot of drinking that goes on. Uh, they pray for you before dinner and they pray for you before you leave. Um, but they, um, well, we'll go into that another day when I, <laughs> when I have time to put it together. Cause I do have some information on that. So, uh, but yeah. I don't know that I'd call it a cult because as soon as you say the word cult, it gets negative. Of, yeah. yeah. All sorts of crazy things are going through their heads. And, and I'm not saying that some of it's not crazy. That's what I'm saying, but it's not like how we normally would have thought of a cult, I think. And I also yeah. can clarify another one. Um, this is a wonderful thing about social media um, Frank. Okay. Frank is the one that threatened us. Frank is, um, married to Chloe and that is Cole and Cora's son, Frank. Okay. And I had said earlier that I think Frank may have been the one possibly to have gotten his sister out. Okay. It was not him. Frank is the stepbrother to her. So it was her, her biological brother that did it. So Frank's back on my list. So the, give me the relationship again. Say that again. Cause that's, I think that yeah. aligns with. Um, let's see. So Frank, Frank is Cole and Cora's daughter, but I think Cole. Frank, Frank is a step sibling to yes. the daughter. Who's like the star witness. Yes. Um, he yeah. is not, he is not the sibling that got her out of the mess. That is her biological brother that did. And I, and I will say, and I, so this is why it didn't make sense that it would be Frank. The biological brother is also, um, well, they're both kind of in protective custody. We'll put it that way, which made That's no sense better. why it would be Frank because Frank was busy mouthing off. So, so okay, that clears so, that up. That's perfect. But Thank it's you. on, I think it's probably in the group now. Somebody has posted it. Um, it looks like there's a Jillian Kelly group and they are posting the mug shots. I can That's, share those real quick. Oh, they're in the okay. I'll work on getting those up here. Let me do that in a minute. Yeah, it just um, came through. Uh, do you have a way to add there on the messenger group? And I don't have a way to access those unless they're in the actual Facebook group. Let me help you out with that. The Facebook. Um, do you want yeah. it in the, the mod chat or do you, where do you want me to put it? Yeah, you can put it in the, um, if you can, they're in the mod chat right now on Facebook, but I can't get, uh, I can't get oh, to that because I, I don't know my login. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so awesome. I had to join the Facebook group earlier <laughs> and they would, then they wouldn't approve my posts. That is too funny. Okay, I see him in the, the group chat. Do you want me to let me to get it to you? I just sent it to your Facebook. But I'm, I sent it to our chat. I don't know if that's where you want it or not. Okay, I see him right here. Hold on. Okay. They, they have been posted in the group, so let me share that real quick. All right. Can you guys all see those? Not yet, but to me, chat, let us know if you can see them. I need to be watching that. 
Yes, Patriotiac. Yep, they are posting the group, and we're gonna we're gonna show right. now if we can get the. Uh, so I'm pretty certain show. that that is a uh, grandma. Uh, which one are you looking at? The top one. The it uh, is the one the blonde. Above the one above Tad. Okay, so yeah, that would be Tiffany. Okay, Tad so looks to have the really long beard. Yep. So the one on the screen right now that is Tiffany. Boy, she looks a lot different than she did uh, in her Facebook pictures whole lot different wow yeah all right uh this must be cole let me come back to that i can't see the screen <laughs> i don't know what's going on with this um so cole um, yeah. is gonna have the uh like the the handlebar mustache yep. to the goatee look so he's okay. in the blue shirt so that is cole now mm -hmm. a little bit about cole in their group that they have their god's misfits cole is the preacher and I've heard mm -hmm. a whole lot of misinformation about this. People saying he's the butcher. He's not the butcher. You know, he's not. Mm -hmm. Cole and the butcher, who is a whole different name that hasn't been named yet. So I don't want to name the person. Most people already know. But uh, as far as I know, the, the butcher has not been arrested. Cole is not the butcher. Cole is like the preacher, if, if you will. Okay. So that's Cole. And then... This one, this is Tad. This is Grandma's boyfriend, Tad. We've heard when we were out there, we heard he could be a scary dude. Yeah. So that is Tad Colum, Grandma's boyfriend. And finally, um, this one, I'm guessing, is, this is Cora. This is Cora Twombly. So, Cora is Cole's wife mm -hmm. and it is their daughter that probably well, her daughter. Yeah. It's yeah, her daughter. Yeah, her, da her daughter, his stepdaughter. Right. So yeah, it's their daughter um, that really probably did help ex extensively with the investigation. And um, I just can't imagine being that age and having that kind of stuff on my shoulders. And I just no. want to like hug her and, you know, be like, we're not all like this, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. sad, but, um, yeah, Cole, was he smiling? You know, that's what I was seeing. And I'm, I, I hope that's his RFB version of his plain face. I hope that it's not a smile. I know some people handle these things in different ways, but I really hope that's not a smile. Um, gosh, that's kind of, it's almost, it's a little creepy for me, honestly, to see that. But you don't want to see somebody smiling or oh, crafty lady smirking. It really does look like a smirk. Oh my goodness! Yeah, the um, it's oh, so it's. I, I'm glad they've been arrested. I'm glad that the direction has gone this way, and they've they're getting these guys for this. I'm just hoping they will. I do have an update on the arrest situation and it looks like at the very least they'll be held until Monday um, but none of them should have an issue bonding out oh. so that's something to keep in mind but if there's bonds set then they have the means to take care of that yep. um, so it's and there's some other things coming in that um, their release it, should they be released um, that could be very interesting in that area to see the the uh, public response. I think. Yeah, I um. Uh, yeah, um, a lot of people are afraid. We're afraid to like basically, you know, a lot from being down there for the six days. Um, a lot, a lot of people had run-ins with this dude right here. A whole lot of people had run-ins with him, um, with Tad. Mm -hmm. And, and I know that people were kind of, you know, afraid to really, I don't want to say afraid because it's not like they're, you know, chicken shits and stuff. It's not like that, but the retaliation, you know, and uh, so I hope that they do not bond out, but I'm Tad and Tiffany have money and they got a whole lot of land to sell off to use if they need bail money. So yeah, I just pray that they, uh, that they are not released. That's well, there's, and so I'm glad we got the, and this is something I think I've talked with you about, Carrie. Um, there's something 
there, so there's with this group, there's a, there's a, it really is important that they got these four detained, kept busy for a few days and that they needed to be able to search the property. There had been some communications that took place between, I know myself, Carrie and, and whatnot, that searches were requested, but denied. And because they can claim yes. sovereign citizenship, which is a, basically a way of going above the law, basically saying, I don't, I don't recognize you as my government, so you can't tell me what to do. That is a, um, I can't say it's a belief, but it's something that they understand very well within this little tight knit, for lack of a better word at this point, cult. And so when they've been asked to search different places and these people said, no, well, you got to find a way around that. And so um, that is it's probably what a big part of this was. They had to find something to keep these folks busy. So they had, so that the, they could get warrants to get on the, the properties that they own and start searching because they have until uh, Monday at the very least. Um, mm. I don't know if it's this Monday or next Monday. It just says Monday. Um, so I don't well, know if it's a 24 have, hour period. 70, probably, yeah. It'd probably be this Monday. Well, and I, I don't know if it was an FBI arrest or if this was a state, federal, or whatnot arrest. Right. I'm sure they have different kinds of holding policies for that. And so I'm sure they are working under a very stressful clock to oh try gosh, and figure yes. out um, because they, they only have so much time before. Um, and I don't know the law specifically, but I, I do I do feel very strongly that this is not, um, they, they, don't, they don't have the time to take. They are not twiddling about. They are working hard oh my to gosh, find yes. these women. There yeah. was something in the chat about, um, have the women been found? Have they been recovered? No, not to our knowledge. That's what they're trying to do now. So that's uh, one of the reasons I wanted to get into that from the the chat. I can't highlight. I'm not the cool highlighter person like you are. I can't highlight the questions like you no, can't carry. So I just have to pull them out. <laughs> oh, right here. I, th I was going to, I was going to pull oh. it up afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So um, I don't know about Jillian. I just, we just know that her mom did post in our Facebook group um, that she is no longer with us. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's heartbreaking. Um, I do want to, um, while we're just talking about the arrest, I, I want to totally applaud law enforcement. Uh, they came in and just kind of like we thought they were going to do what, maybe three or four days ago, Tara, um, mm -hmm. we had talked about it and, um, yeah, so we were seeing law enforcement out there, but we were only seeing like four SUVs, you know, it wasn't a big presence and, and I just knew something was going to happen. I knew it would happen, you know, this weekend. In fact, I was talking to one of the news producers and he said the same thing, you know, of course it'll be, you know, this weekend while I'm off and, but, um, whatever, that's great. You know, they're arrested. I just hope that they don't get out. <laughs> um, this is Chloe. So this is, uh, Chloe is actually married to Frank. Frank is the son of, uh, Cole and Cora. Somebody posted. I can't. That in the group. I can't see your screen. They they post that in the group. Uh, yeah, it's in the group. Okay, I'll go to the the Facebook group and but, take uh, a um, look. Law enforcement really did come in. They they scooped it up. They uh, they got in there quick today, and um, I think they have done an absolutely amazing job. I know it was frustrating. It's always frustrating when they're not giving us information that we as a public. We want it. We want it now. We want it yesterday. The families are the same. And, you know, the families were right there with us. You guys, they, they, I know mm -hmm. for a fact that one, one of the families said, told me that they had not heard from law enforcement in a week. So they're sitting there on the edge of the seats, just like all of us are. And, um, you know, so law enforcement did a great job by keeping things mm -hmm. close to the vest. Um, if that had got, that's why I deleted all of that when it started coming out, um, I mean, we were getting that before people were posting it, but, uh, that's why I deleted those posts because in no way do we want to give anybody a heads up that you've got basically what appears to be like a whole SWAT team <laughs> headed your way, you know, and, yes. uh, those, those pictures and those videos could wait. And, um, and so that's why I did it. It wasn't to be rude or disrespectful to anybody. It was to respect law enforcement and their hard work that they had ahead of them. Um, and to be honest, I was a little fearful for them. 
um, because I know Tad's background and um, I know what the community has had to say about him. So I was a little fearful of them going in there with Tad. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. There is a little bit of a rumor of what situation may have unfolded, but whatever they got him and he's booked. So there's that. As he should be. As he should be. As he should be. What else have we got? And you come back go over to the chat real quick and see what's happening there. Rick school. Oh my, the psychic mentioned a school. I haven't, I've heard all about the psychic. I, I don't know which one it is because I couldn't find the video that I was looking for. Is that Mara, Psychic Mara? Is it Psychic? Okay. I can go back and look at her. I wish I would have found her. Um, I know that everybody's different about psychics. Um, I've talked with a couple and it's being psychic isn't cut and dry in my opinion. And it's not a perfect ability. How about that? Um, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like analyzing things. You get clues to a puzzle and you kind of have to solve it. So I kind of take mediumship and reading cards and all that jazz with a certain kind of grain of salt. Cause I don't know what people, I don't, I, who knows what, who knows if somebody's pretending to be a psychic, but they're actually a little more involved or whatnot. Not, not, not to say that's the case here, but I'm always very skeptical when it comes to these things, but the brick school, yes. um, now, so it's funny because I know that the thought, I think that's what drove you guys out to look for the schools is that it kind of was insinuated, Carrie, that maybe the Veronica and Jillian were located at a school and that's where they could be found potentially. Yeah, that's, that is exactly it. Um, I, I too, I'm not a big, you know, psychic believer. That's why I posted in the group. I allowed those posts and I asked for people to be respectful. If you don't, if you don't believe in it, then just scroll right on by because there yeah. are people that do, you know. But what I will tell you is being a non-believer and a psychic, she got, she got quite, she got a lot of stuff, right? I'm not going to lie. She really did. And I don't know, maybe it's coincidence. I'm not sure. You know, the, the last video I watched went, and, we, and we didn't get to watch them all because honestly, we, we just went day and night. We truly did. We didn't have time to sit and watch a YouTube video. When yeah. we put on a YouTube video, it was about, you know, usually four or 5 AM. Um, in fact, one night I, I fell asleep with the remote in my hand. Um, you know, it'd be like 10 minutes of watching something and we're out. So, but one of them I did watch was like, it was telling us, basically it was saying, I mean, it could have only been directed to us because we were the only ones outside of the area that were searching. And it was like, you know, you need to get out of there. <laughs> you need to lay low <laughs> for like 24 hours. We're And we're looking at each other going, okay. <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. Yeah, it's funny. You no, know, I'm serious. Cause I just got a, t- a message. Go ahead. I just got a message that said, um, there, it was a good thing that you guys, um, backed off when you did. Um, because they, it, I guess they had been, um, uh, this individual had been following, um, you, the, this whole, uh, search from the start, um, by search, I mean the boots on the ground, um, you and, and whatnot. And, um, uh, they said that, um, it's a good thing you left when you did. And this isn't a threatening text. It's more of one of those can't say what I know, but the taunting wasn't going to stop. Oh yeah. i I firmly 100%, 100% believe that. Um, like, like I said on the, the live, uh, what was it Thursday night? I think, oh yeah. Thursday night before I left. Um, yeah, there was some hairy moments for sure. Um, that I'm not really used to being put into. So Mm -hmm. definitely those some hairy moments, but um, yeah. So yeah, she did say back off 24 hours and uh, that basically they'd be found. She wasn't quite right on the 24 hours, but she wasn't very far off either. Um, Okay. Um, Carrie, I'm going to stop you real second. Um, Something came into the chat and it's a, I'm going to read it and it's from, it looks like it's an OSBI. Somebody just interrupted that. Okay. So it says here, it's dated for today. It's dated for immediate release. Um, and if there's um, anybody in the chat that is truly close to this, um, I just, uh, you might, if, if this is upsetting, you may not want to stick around. But March 30th, uh, 2024, the Texas County Sheriff's Office requested the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to investigate the suspicious disappearance of 27-year-old Veronica Butler 
and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly. Their vehicle was found abandoned near Highway 95 and Road L, south of Elkhart, Kansas, in rural Texas County. OSBI special agents immediately began investigating their vehicle. Um, lost my, and determined there was no evidence. There was evidence to indicate foul play. On April 13th, 43-year-old Tad Burt Cullum, 54-year-old Tiffany Michelle Adams, 50-year-old Cole Earl Twombly, and 44-year-old Cora Twombly were arrested in Texas and Cimarron counties. All four were. All four individuals were booked into the Texas County Jail on two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. Oh, the OSBI yeah. and local law enforcement are still currently working to locate the two victims. Anyone with information regarding this case is asked to contact the OSBI at tips at osbi.ok.gov or 1-800-522-8017. And the agency would like to thank the Texas County Sheriff's Office, FBI, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Kansas Bureau of Investigation, Kansas Highway Patrol, and several other local agencies for assisting with the case. So that yeah. is the chart. Wow. I mean, it's it's not shocking. It's, it's not, I mean, for me, it's not a surprise. Um, we kind no. of, you know, but, but it's heartbreaking when you're a family and you're, you finally just get that finality of that kind of news is I can't even imagine, um, uh, like our hearts just go out to you. They really do. And, um, Absolutely. Like, like I said, the other night, my heart goes out to the community too, because these are people that, you know, people do love these people, you know, I mean, yeah. they, they have family that love them that never imagined they could do something so hideous and horrendous. So, um, Gosh, that's just horrible. It is. But I'll, I'll tell you, as awful as it is, as terrible as this is, if you hadn't been down there putting some faces to where they needed to be at, putting, putting this on the map and really pushing it and making yourself available, um, it's, it's this kind of thing that really pushes the attention. It needs to continue pushing. This is just an arrest. These are just charges. And it sounds like they're going to be charged. So they will be held, but they'll likely bond or bail out. I don't know what that looks like in Oklahoma, but this isn't done. So it's going to take continued attention. It's it's going to be some um, pressure applied consistently to law enforcement to make sure that these things are seen through. Definitely. And, um, and like I said earlier, I, I, there's still, I still feel like there's more to the situation and I wouldn't be surprised to see more come out of it. And, uh, and, and Tara and I will get into that, you know, in another time. We kind of planned on that tonight, but this is more important. So this, you know, took it took us this way. Um, as far as a standoff at Tad's property, yes, we did hear that. We do not know if it's true or not, but he obviously surrendered because it, it couldn't have lasted very long, I don't think. So, I mean... I think I have video of when they pulled up and I have video of about the time that he was arrested pretty close to, I don't know. Do you have any insight Tara on that? No, I did. Um, I talked to my local contact who's um, was sending some of the images that I shared with you. And when I asked about that, they didn't see anything. They could hear things such as we have a warrant. They couldn't hear the name that was read from the warrant when they were yelling it from outside looking in. Um, so they, they didn't get the feeling of a standoff, but they're they're keeping their eyes open. Of course, that standoff may have been not loud enough for somebody to hear. I don't know how close uh, this friend of mine was, but that was not their impression. Right. But now there's something to be said about some of these. Th there's a lot of, um, of people who are from the area. They're going to recognize the personality and the behavior attached to that personality and make presumptions that make sense. And it's easy for somebody to say, oh, I heard Tad, you know, was he, he did a standoff with police. Yeah, I can totally t see Tad doing something like that. That kind of rhetoric, rhetoric is the kind of thing we need to make sure we validate um, just because it's we want the right things going forward. We want the right facts going forward with this group so that they, they can be held accountable for their choices and their actions. Most definitely. Most definitely. And I agree with that comment, TC, for whatever we're going to call 
the or you know whatever the whatever they're doing um i, I just want to be careful with what i say but um and not because anybody should be in fear or anything it's not like that it's just that um we just need to be careful with what we're calling it what we're naming it that kind of thing I, that, that's how i feel anyway um but i yeah i hope they do i hope they i hope they shut this whole thing down i think that there's probably a lot of uh corruption money um, mm -hmm. I think some of this runs pretty deep. Um, but I think there's a lot of corruption involved. And I I would assume that the FBI, FBI is well aware of all of that information as well. So that's kind of why I was saying I, I kind of feel like there might be some more arrests coming, but they may not be like arrested or directly connected with, um, you know, the, the unfortunate murders of Jillian and Veronica. Mm hmm. Well, I, I don't know anything about Tad being seen digging. I have heard that. I mean, mainly anything you guys have heard, we probably have heard it as well. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't hear Tad. The the I don't think it was Tad that I heard. Um, it was Cole that I had heard. I didn't. I couldn't follow up on it. It wasn't worth sharing at that point in time, just because it was something as very simple as that he was seen with, and I heard a, a, a skid loader. Yes. He um, had rented one or something. Um, I'd heard that he was out there. It was on a, and that was kind of the thing is the tip was like, he was out right there on the highway or on a road that, yeah, we could see him at the skid loader. I'm like, I feel like, okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. And if something comes up that's similar to that, then we can chase that one down. But I just held that one in my back pocket just in case. Right. Those always go in my possibilities thing in my discord. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> possibilities. I never exactly. Know. Um, exactly. Spray dog 94. Yes. Th and thank you. Um, we did address that earlier and we were able to clear that up that Shelly Harmon, is a, she's apparently not related to this case at all. It just happened to be bad timing that she, that she got booked at the same time. But, um, to our knowledge, the best of our knowledge, she is not related. So uh, let's definitely try to shut that down. Um, we definitely don't want somebody um, that had absolutely nothing to do with something this horrific to be being accused of it. So, uh, but we did address that earlier and I'm going to address this one. So I went back and looked at my pictures. My yeah. husband and I did actually. And, um, and I had the tag number from this car because I'm actually the one that chased it down. Um, and it was actually a Camaro. It is a Chevy Camaro. I still know who owns it and I still know, you know, all that. But that was a Chevy Camaro, not a Charger. And uh, when we were following it that night after they had kind of toyed with us a little bit, um, in the, it was pitch dark on those roads. And so it appeared to be a charger to me, but it is indeed a Camaro. So there's that. I just wanted to clear that up. Um, the other thing I wanted to clear up too, I did it earlier. The butcher is not Cole. The butcher is a completely different person. Um, so that's, that's being said a whole lot. Yeah. Cole is not the butcher at all. And as, and the butcher has not been arrested. So we're just going to have to leave them out of it. Uh, until we see any kind of arrest and they may not have any kind of involvement. We just don't know. Great. What else is in the. Thank you so much for that. Absolutely. Family. Totally this, agree with that. Like I wouldn't take back that experience for anything in the world. I just wouldn't. I mean, and, and it's so much different. And I've heard other creators say the same when you're on the ground, it's totally different. Then when you're sitting at the computer and you're just doing your research and you're using all different kinds of tools that we use, um, I can tell you on the ground, we weren't using all those tools that we normally use. <laughs> we, uh, we were talking to people. We were talking to people. And that is the absolute best way possible to get the information. And that's how we were able to know as much info as we did, along with some amazing research skills uh, from Tara and some of um, the people that she knows. So um, our corner cutters, our corner cutters, that's the right. Corner cutters. And they are outstanding. I've been so impressed. Um, I could not have been able to be as effective 
in doing this as I was without them. They're just amazing. One thing I'm going to touch on real quick. It's I'm watching the Facebook group and the chat at the same time, probably not doing that great of a job, but you know, we're trying, um, <laughs> we're trying, but there's, um, there's a lot of posts on the Facebook group chat, chat that says, Hey, all of you, Tiffany and Tad and Twombly supporters, where are you now? Um, they, you said they were good people. Um, just to kind of point something out there to some, they may have been, they may have been great people. Um, there's a reason for that. If they were tight knit, if they were close or whatnot, if they felt very confident that there was no way these people could be involved in something like this because they, well, they may know the kind of person that they are. They just couldn't see this happening. And um, there, you never know the threshold somebody is willing to cross when it means something special to them. Now that's not a defense mechanism, but I don't want to attack people who genuinely thought these four were decent human beings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I know. And, and, and Tara and I absolutely agree on that. Um, like I said earlier, you know, the, every family, you know, or a lot of families, they've got a bad seed in them. And that definitely doesn't mean that the rest of the family is the same way. And, um, you know, these people are generally, they're genuinely in shock. They're, they're in shock. They cannot fathom the idea that somebody they loved, care about, grew up with, had family Christmases together, went on vacations, it w is even capable of something like this. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine being in that situation. So I agree, Tara, that um, we do need to be really careful with that because they haven't done anything wrong. And mm -hmm. if anything, they're victims as well, not to the same extent, but they, they are because, I mean, they're you know, I knew I, I said this a week ago that this was going to affect a whole lot of people in ways that people didn't realize. And um, and it is. And, and I'm so sorry for that for so many people. I am, too. It's it's I can't imagine taking somebody of my inner circle. I mean, and Carrie, you know, I've only known each other for two weeks, maybe. And I cannot imagine. I mean, I, I can imagine defending you and saying, no, that's not how Carrie right. is. That's not who she be is. Like, that's not what I've seen. That's, I've never yeah, seen exactly. that ever. Yeah, my experience I, has never been that way. It's it, mm -hmm. I can't see it being that way. And then you got to get the details. So there's always a story that everybody has. You have no idea what somebody's been through five minutes or what somebody's done five minutes before you saw them. So it's you, you, when somebody says, I wouldn't put it past somebody, it's not because they're a bad person. But realistically speaking, we really don't know what we're capable of when we get to extreme points and maybe Tiffany to many people was not capable of this kind of thing. This was just, but right. if you ask other people, they would say, yes, absolutely. That's how my experiences have been interpreted from her. So this is very interpretational. That's why you have to rely on facts. You have to rely on evidence. You got to rely on a lot of science to push this case through so that we put the right people in the right spaces. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm sure had I talked to some of these people that are now sitting in jail, I can't, probably could have sat down and had a nice conversation with them and thought they were the nicest people on, you know, totally because I didn't have that kind of experience, you know, or I wouldn't have, but, um, yeah, it, I really appreciate you bringing that up Tara. Cause I feel so strongly about things like that. How are we doing with all the news coming out? I think that Tara and I, um, I think that the rest of us that work together, um, I think that we are doing okay because we, we, um, I think we expected this and when we, we knew the players, we, we kind of, we know a lot <laughs> and we yeah. were expecting it. I'll just put it that way. We we're expecting it. And today I'm telling you, like I told my husband, like, it feels like Christmas because I wanted these, I wanted these people you know, to face justice for what they've done. And I just, I pray, but we can't, we can't stop now. You know, it, it's only right. the beginning really on the legal side of things. It's only the beginning. Mm -hmm. So we got to keep at it and we got to, you know, stay on things. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's why the attention. So while we, we may have arrests, we may have charges. That doesn't mean we have convictions. We don't have trial dates. So that Facebook group needs to continue to bring attention to this matter that's the only way that it, the public has a lot of, the public has a lot of power and the more oh, they speak up, the, the more that can be done. 
Definitely. And, and I, I said it the other night, but like, we can't take credit for this. I mean, you know, all 13,000 of you in that Facebook, you guys were sharing information. You were sharing their pictures. You know, if it, if it had been 100 people in that group, this, you know, we, I mean, I'm sure FBI, they're going to figure it out anyway, you know, but um, yeah. I definitely, um, because so many of you cared, it kept it, it made it national, national coverage. And right now this is, and I'm, I'm in Oklahoma, I live here. This is the most important law enforcement thing in Oklahoma right now, period. There is nothing else more important right now in Oklahoma other than this case. So um, I want to thank all of you that um, are in that group and that you have been sharing and that you have felt comfortable coming forward, whether it was to me or Tara or another mod with information. And, 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 you know, the information that we're given isn't like earth, you know, groundbreaking kind of information, but it's enough information that we were able to put pieces of the puzzle together to have a very good idea of what was going on, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, we had some incredible information came through from individuals who, and some of them carry, they wanted to approach you in real life. They simply did not want to take the chance of being seen right with near you with you because they under their 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 understanding of the danger because of their interpretations of their experiences there too uh, one of them particularly close a couple of them actually particularly close to the matter they're just like I don't even want to put her in danger and so they were actually thinking about you Carrie when they would come to me to be like clearly you're not there they won't see me with you you're not going to share this give her this information yeah. And I appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate you guys looking out for me. Um, yeah, that, you guys have been amazing. You, just, you really have been amazing. I appreciate that That's very awesome. much, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I did talk to somebody very, very, very close to, um, the children and to Veronica and we were standing outside and on a main road. And I said, do you want to go somewhere else? Because my first thought was her safety. And she's like, no, no, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm talking, I'm done. And there was no fear left in her because she was pissed by that time. You know, she sat back, she tried to do everything the right way, the way the law had asked. And at this point, you know, this would have been like what, maybe 12 or 13 days after at that point, she is pissed. And she didn't give a crap who was going to drive by, mm -hmm. but, but I cared for her. And I'm like, you know, can we go somewhere else? But um, yeah, people were really amazing. Willow Christian yeah. Church has been posting a lot. Abs yeah, I'm sure they mm -hmm. have. You know, you, you mentioned the Christian Church. That makes me think um, if there's somebody in the chat, the family members, uh, close friends, loved ones, I understand that there may be GoFundMes that have been started. If you have these links for those, will you please drop them in the chat? We want to put those over on the Facebook group. That would be awesome. I understand there may be something out there or something getting ready to start, but if we can have that information, there has been a, a couple of folks who've reached out asking about showing support in that fashion. Yeah. And we would love to do that. Um, I know that they had put one out for Jillian and for the garden that she had wanted to um, yeah. do at the church before she left to go. They were going to Nebraska, right? So she had wanted to leave the church there with this garden. And so people were just, you know, do you donate to this? And they were going to put it together. And of course, Facebook does what Facebook does. Social media mm -hmm. does what social media does. We wound up having to take it down because people were attacking them. Well, that's just ridiculous. Yes. We would have put the same up for Veronica, but we didn't have any, we didn't have any information for that. You know what I mean? So exactly. if we had information for one for Veronica, we absolutely would put that out there. So if you have any of that information or if there is a way that we can possibly help, um, definitely reach out to any of the mods and or myself and just let me know and, and we'll be mm -hmm. happy to post that for you because absolutely. we do want to we do want to keep helping and and the families are going to continue to need um, our support more than ever, probably then. Um, Agreed. So what did she confess to? That we don't know, but I believe the charges that that press release that uh, that thing I just read off, I'm going I'm willing to bet 
that came out after the confession. I've not, con I've, I've not confirmed the confession. It's come from a couple of close sources on my end. Um, I don't know that ours, uh, uh, Carrie and I were able to compare that information very quickly. And so I don't know, but I would not be surprised if it's the, conf the confession instigated the charges. Yeah, I, I would think so too. Um, you know, kind of backed in a corner at that point. They had enough evidence. They had eyewitnesses. They had eyewitnesses all along, mm -hmm. maybe not necessarily to the actual crime, but they had, uh, they had plenty of eyewitnesses to the vehicles that were there that day. There wasn't much way around it. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. <laughs> there, there just wasn't. And then, you know, they also had, um, p other people that were told, uh, that were very close to them. And thankfully those people were strong enough to uh, speak out and go to somebody and um, and that got the ball rolling. That's what really got the ball rolling. Yeah. Uh, the other son Canyon was not arrested. No. And, and, and I'll point on that just a little bit. I've really actually heard good things about the guy. I really have. Um, I haven't heard much bad. I, I'm not saying he's an angel or anything, but um, you know, I think Wrangler, uh, his big issue is that he got wrapped up into drugs and, um, well, we know what that does to the majority of people, but as mm -hmm. far as Canyon, um, I've, I've really heard pretty decent things about him, but no, he's not arrested. Uh, I haven't had his name brought to me, um, in any way or fashion that would suggest he had any kind of involvement. And the same goes for Wrangler. Um, Wrangler's brother actually drove him from the jail that morning straight to Oklahoma city. It wasn't his dad. It was his brother. Yeah. Um, I was there when, when that was said. So, um, but he was not around. So I think that Canyon and Wrangler both are, you know, probably pretty innocent in this. I imagine Wrangler is going to have, you know, he's going to, it's going to be rough for him. Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, I do want to, there's something in the chat I saw from Bethany Dick that asks, do we know who put up the cross at the car site? I actually do. I have talked with that individual. They are insistent that they are left out of all of this. They just want to make sure that nobody is forgotten. Yes. And so that's all I, I, I had not, this is Carrie's probably first time in hearing this as well, because I kept that very close to my intel. I didn't tell anybody about it, but they, um, they, they put out just about everything that's been, there's been a lot they've put out. I don't know what all has been put out there. They've kept me pretty up to date and they've been very diligent about going out to the site. Um, they didn't mention if they were related. I think they just had a heavy heart when it came to this situation. It just really, really touched them. But I think that is a pretty common feel amongst a lot of people. It's how I got involved in this. Definitely. And I do have like pictures and videos and, oh, and all of that information because I didn't go live while I was there. I just went live that very last night. Um, I was going to leave in the morning and then we wound up doing other things and it wound up being late that afternoon before I got out of there. But um, uh, I have tons of video that I took, tons of photos that I took that um, I'm, I'm, you know, I can't wait to share with you guys. But this, you know, this, this was breaking news today. So we're going to go with this one tonight. Uh, Frank yeah. Cole is Frank Cole Twombly's is Frank Cole Twombly's father. Well, yeah. So Frank is Cole's son. Um, Cole is the one that's been arrested. Frank has not been arrested as of now, but um, he is Cole's son who has been arrested. Yes. And that is correct. Um, her Jillian's mom did post that the grandma had confessed to killing them both. Mm -hmm. She had put that in our Facebook group. The ladies have the go ahead. Oh, I, I'm hoping that if she's listening. I know it's hard to hear these things. And if anybody from the family is listening, we are definitely supportive of what you're going through. Um, your engagement is is brave to say the least at this point. I don't know that I could engage with social media in your shoes. So putting information out there and being a part of the group, we are very glad to see you there, but, but we're not glad for the, the reasons. Yeah. And we, we really try to keep it, excuse me, really respectful um, to all the families. So 
I hope that you feel welcome there. And, um, we, you definitely have all, all the support in the world from, uh, um, everybody in the group. I can, I can guarantee you that. Absolutely. Have they if been you don't, we kick them out. If they don't support them, we kick them out. That's right. Yep. They'll be gone immediately. Like no questions. Have the ladies been recovered? So I've, I i do not know what Jillian's mom knows. She didn't go into any details. The last I knew they had a small excavator out on some land that Tad uh, leased and they were uh, using that excavator. And that was what, maybe an hour, hour and a half ago that I think mm -hmm. that was. So I'm going to say they at least haven't found one. I do not know if uh, if Jillian was found. I'm, I kind of want to say she, I don't know if she was found or not, but probably because of the confession, she may have gotten the information that it yeah. was no longer a possibility. I don't that's know. What I'm, that's what I'm presuming to. Um, I, I just, I think Jillian's mom would feel, I'm just, I, I don't mean to speak for her, but if it were me, if I was in her shoes, I would not feel comfortable divulging information that didn't belong to my family directly. No, I wouldn't either. And so that might be, and so this is one of those things, there's a lot of emotions that come into this kind of situation and it's easy to believe that what happens to one happens to the other. What one family says, it must be true for the other family because they have all the same information and they very well may, but they may feel like that's not their position to put things out there. Um, I know that's, that's not, I wouldn't feel right about putting information out there that the other family wasn't comfortable because it would be impact them. And so we need to keep those kind of perspectives in mind Absolutely. that Jillian's mom is only talking for Jillian's side of the family at this point, I do believe. Exactly. Um, yeah, they do consider themselves sovereign citizens. My understanding is they have sovereign land. Um, they do not recognize any real type of law enforcement. Um I mean, I, I don't even know how grandma had a driver's license after looking at her <laughs> record because I'm like, I wouldn't have a driver's license. Yeah, because that sovereign citizen thing does that kind of yeah. thing for you. That is the very thing that um, they can do that. So uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the internet or the national news, especially during the you know, that, that kind of BLM thing where you'd see video that um, a police officer, law enforcement of some type, pulled somebody over. They were, uh, you know, a black American, they were an African American, they were a person of color, what have you. And that, it, that person said, I'm a sovereign citizen. You can't touch me. And in many cases, I would see the cops saying, I don't know what that means. That doesn't apply here. I don't know what that is. And in this part of the uh, Oklahoma, it's well known. And they do rely on that to provide some protection for themselves. You have to kind of wonder about some things. You can't really prove it, but we've heard that multiple times. The sources that I have are very clear. It is a thing. They teach others how to use it. That's they, um, And that's what lets you, carry. that's what led to our conversation about how some folks were afraid to speak because if they gave law enforcement information, Law enforcement can go back to maybe Tiffany, Tad, Cole, or Cora and say, this is the information we have. And any one of those individuals can say, who told you? By my Sixth Amendment right, I think that's the right amendment. By my by my constitutional right, you have yep. to tell me. Yep, and you have the right so, to know your accuser. Yep. And so sovereign citizens, they do live by the Constitution, which is the that big document that manages the entire country. But then and the they states, know it very well. They know very, it very well scarily well. And these people are not attorneys. And so that is the scary thing about all of this is they knew how to work the constitution to their benefit to the point where I would encourage anybody who knows how to look up arrest records. Um, I'm not going to give you the steps here because I learned it. You can too. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, but it is, I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, I live in Kansas and I would be arrested and it would, they weren't, it's just because the multiple behaviors, it's a pattern of behaviors, what you'll see in there. And you're just thinking how, how in the world, how did that, what did you do? Like how, but it's because she can claim sovereign citizen. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's, it is a thing down there. It is a part of that religious grouping thing that it's not really a cult, but it is kind of, and it depends on, again, 
those are interpretations. It depends on who you ask and what their involvement is. Um, I've heard stories about that group from tattooing children to um, some, not holy water baptisms, but something else. I can't remember what it was. And I was like, well, that's new. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And I, and Whatever. I do have a, like I said earlier, I have some inside information on that, um, that I, I do plan on sharing, um, with some of the activities that have gone on. Um, I have some pictures, I have all that kind of stuff, um, that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I don't think anywhere. So, I mean, I think we'll get to that. We'll get to that next week, I guess. <laughs> we'll get yeah. to it. We'll oh, get yeah. to it. But there's just so there's still so much information that uh, you guys haven't heard or seen um, that we want to bring to you, um, and and we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Cole is not the butcher. I, I'm I I know that somebody keeps saying that, but Cole is not the butcher, <laughs> and the butcher yeah. has not been arrested. So there's that. We don't yes. know was a butcher ever even involved. I know that that was the you know kind of the hype, the rumor from the beginning. Um, but so far he's, his, him nor his wife have been arrested for anything to our knowledge. So, uh, obviously if he is, we'll let you know real fast, but, yep. um, but right now, no. And on the screen right now, that is Tad. That's grandma's boyfriend. And, uh, we showed these earlier, but I know that we have new people coming in. Um, this is Cora. This is Cora Twombly. Mm -hmm. um, this is her husband right here. This is Cole. Cole is considered basically like the quote unquote preacher of the church. But uh, yeah, him, him and the butcher kind of share those duties is my understanding. They kind of go back and forth. So, mm -hmm. um, but like I said, the butcher has not been uh, charged with anything. So we're, we're not going to discuss it until or if there, you know, would be a charge. And then that's Tad. And then again, that's Cora, uh, Cole's wife. And Cora, yes, stepmom to Frank. We got the mug shots. Is there anybody that like wants to come up on panel? If you want to talk about things now, do you feel a little more comfortable? Like I said, you don't have to show your face whatsoever, uh, but you're more than welcome. Um, and I can put the link in here for you guys. Um, but don't, That's don't, go, don't go crazy on me. <sighs> and yeah, do you see any like questions? I think I might be a little oh, behind I'm, here. I'll work from the bottom up if that's, or if you're going from the top down. Yeah, it is confusing. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a, this is like a, a family tree of bushes. It is. <laughs> so let me tell you. Like all of the information. So I didn't take my laptop. I literally left in 30 minutes. I didn't take my laptop. I had my iPhone. So everything I was getting, all I could do was like screenshot it or, you know, whatever. And, and um, I got home last night and I never did go to sleep. I stayed up all night long, clearing out my phone, organizing all of that information, um, redacting names and, and pictures and all that kind of stuff so that I can share that, you know, information with you where there is no way possible it could be connected back to whoever shared it with us. Um, but I was up all night long doing that. And uh, I've been telling Tara, I'm like, what do we do? Like a family tree? Because, because it is, there are so many people involved um, and it is really hard. To Harry, right. Yes. I got to stop you. Go check your messages. I'm going to send you something. Okay. Um, I've gotten two, I'm getting a couple of different avenues saying, tell her to check her messages. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm sending you in our chat um, the name that you need to look for in the messages. I don't know what it is. Something about supposed breaking news. And so um, I, hopefully, let me see. All right, I'm checking them now. Okay. And I'm getting some more feedback on that one too. And that name is the one used. Sorry to be cryptic all. We, it's kind of one of those things where something comes in like that, we kind of want to pay attention to it. And this is how Carrie and I have been operating for two weeks. So Tara, I have a whole ton of messages. Can you put it in like our uh, back chat here in StreamYard, the yep. name or yep. something? Because yeah, I'll do I, that. I see about 50 messages. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'll go to the private chat so I see if I can do this right. Okay, you should be able to see it now. Oh, God, my phone is blowing up. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. I will look at that real quick. Give me just a moment if you want to. Oh, okay. There's, okay. So that, okay. You've got something. It's not from that. Goodness. That's a little bit. Okay. So it's maybe, let me go back to the group chat and try to I weasel my way through this. I think. Okay. So it, that person just left a, a chat in the chat. Um, okay. A source on the ground is confirmed. Jillian has been recovered. They're using an excavator to retrieve Veronica. Uh, keep talking. I will go look into that right now. Um, if my corner cutter okay. is on okay. the line, I see it. I see go it. Go look at it. Yep. I Let's see it. See. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. I just confirmed Carrie. I just okay. got it confirmed. So, it just came through. So what this says is, uh, Jillian is recovered and they had the excavator getting Veronica out. I said that a little bit earlier though. Is that the one? It is. Well, we said there that there was talk about. Okay. We didn't know if Jill, we did not know if Jillian had been recovered. Okay. So, yep. so Jillian saying, has been recovered. Jillian has been recovered. Um, they are still using that uh, small excavator that I talked about earlier. That is on property that Tad leases from somebody else. Um, and they have the excavator getting Veronica out. Okay, hold on just a second. It's... Okay, so I'm having somebody that is trying to validate... Okay. We're having, I've got a couple looking into that right now. Okay. So it sounds like um, Jillian's been recovered and maybe that's why Jillian's mom did come out and say, so it may have been known for a couple hours. That's why she went out and right. said it, but nobody on, on Veronica's family. So again, that's why we don't assume that one leads to another. Um, and so, uh, we're just going to have to wait until they know more with the excavation process. Um, yeah, absolutely. Justin Rockford. I agree. Carrie does a phenomenal job. She's outstanding. And I just want to point out, there's been a couple of comments just for funsies. I don't know because we are those kind of people. Sometimes mm -hmm. Tiffany doesn't look that great for 54. That's all? I know it's a mugshot. Holy cow. Yeah. She's looking, a, she's looking a little stressed, I think. Stress is a good word. That's one word I'd use for it, stressed. Yeah, maybe a little stressed out. A little, little bit. Um, that's okay. We we all have our own. We all have our own journeys. What have you. I just want to point that out. That's been pointed out a couple of times. I want to recognize the chatters in the group. They're not being mean, just observations. It's totally fine, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going through the chat, too. Okay, let's get to this one. Okay. So you guys can imagine, and I'm glad that it is. I'm sure my phone is blowing up. Carrie's my, is blowing up. Yeah, I can, like, it's... Yeah. It's nonstop, which is good. So if you, it's because you're in the chat, you're in the Facebook, keep yes. it up. Yes, um, thank you. It is... <laughs> Oh my gosh, witchy E, that's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I should not have laughed out loud, but that's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it is I what know, it is. I was gonna like, say. We're really nice people, but I mean, <laughs> do we dare point out the obvious? <laughs> I if you folks, so I've there I know there are people in this in this they're watching and they know me and they're like, Tara's being awfully nice. <laughs> She's being very articulate. They know I'm an articulate person, but they're like, wow, Terry, you're holding back. Quite, that's cool. Good for you. Well, you can do that. Wait a second. You, you have the back? ability. Can we work on that more? Otherwise? <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. like, they're like, wait a second. If you're that open with us, 
Like, well, okay. Yeah, our understanding is that Grandma did confess. Yeah. Okay, why did she do it in others? Andy Garcia. God, I wish you were the actor at this point. That'd be a fun conversation to have, but we'll take any Andy Garcia. Why did she do it and others? I understand the first part of that, Andy, but I don't know that I understand the second part. If you will clarify that one for us, we can theorize. We can't tell you definitively that's the law enforcement's job, but we can certainly theorize. Yeah, if you want to clarify that, we will. Um, if As far as the kids, so I do know that the kids have been, like, they've been in school every day since since this happened. Um, she has been taking them to school every day, which I'm kind of surprised. But she had been. Uh, as far as I know, they hadn't missed any school. Um, there was, like, one day she didn't take them to church. Um, but other than that, um, as far as where the kids are now, no, we don't know. I can tell you that I, you know, have talked with some of Veronica's family in our group and in our chat and they, they are, uh, they're more than happy. You know, they would, they will take those kids in, in a heartbeat and uh, they love them. And, and they definitely do have, um, you know, a place to go that is family that, that truly loves them and will care for them uh, like they should be. But as of right now, we don't know. And, uh, but I, I, that'll be worked out. I, I'm sure that's going to be worked out okay. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so I'm going to... Yep, I've got the, the... Okay. Keep talking, Carrie. I just got the other GoFundMe for Jillian. Oh, cool. I've got... I, I got Veronica's, and I'll, I have Jillian's, and I want to get those posted to the site. And yeah, so, and oh my if you want to drop, if you want to put them in the chat when you're done with that, then yes, ma'am, pin them or whatever. That's oh cool. yes. Let's just do that. Okay. Here Boy, we go. that's the truth, Christopher. And it looks like it. Uh, looks like it kind of weighed a little heavy on some of these. Whew. Carrie, have you gone cross-eyed with your phones? I'm pretty sure I'm seeing doubles now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm probably. Okay. Well, it is up. Well, we still have Frank in our group. So, hi, Frank. Nice to meet you. How you doing, I, uh, buddy? And uh, and I said the other day, like you know, I would tell, I would have talked to the grandma. Like I, I wasn't scared of her. I don't think she's. I don't think it's like that. Like you know, just any person, she's just gonna start shooting at you. And I, I don't think it's like that. I absolutely would have talked to her. And in fact, had she not been arrested today, I almost, and I, and it's against everything I do in true crime. I almost thought about reaching out and, uh, I, I did it. <laughs> Thankfully I didn't, but, uh, it was tempting. It was very tempting. Cause I'm like, you know, what do you got to say after all this time? I already, mm -hmm. I already knew that she was, you know, I already, we already knew <laughs> everybody mm -hmm. knew. We just weren't saying it out loud because, you know, you can't accuse people until they've been charged. So we try to be very careful about that over here, I think. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. So two counts each of first degree murder, kidnapping, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit murder in first degree. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely horrible. Um, the OSBI statement, we're probably behind it. Oh, yeah, I'm like way behind in the chat, like an hour. Um, but yeah, we read that earlier. And um, uh, again, and I know where this is coming from. Frank is not the butcher. Please, Frank is not the butcher. The butcher has a very nice business there, by the way. Now, I've, I've heard some stuff and um, I tend to, I, I think that what I've, uh, been told by multiple people is probably the truth about things. But as far as whether he had like direct involvement in any of this, we don't know that. All we know is he's not been arrested. So, but uh, Frank is not the butcher. Frank is the son of Cole, who is mm -hmm. this guy right here. So that is Frank's dad. Or stepdad. Is it his stepdad? 
I'm not sure. Uh, so Frank, Frank and Cole are related, father son. Cora is step mother to Frank. Because okay. Cor Cole and Cora haven't been married um, for terribly long. It's I mean um, that isn't Grandma's boy. Well, they were like living together, so that's strange. They've been together well, for eight or nine years. There's been back and forth I'm about that, sure. and I never really at this point I don't care if they're together. No, or not. I, don't I think that's a minor detail in the grand yeah. scheme of things. I'm pretty yeah. sure it has something and everything to do with. They tend to work well together. Apparently, they are unfortunately effective people to work together with, which is why they should not be together. Right. <laughs> well, they're going to, yeah, be sitting in the same prison cell, hopefully, uh, very uh, soon. And then, yeah, so exactly. So Cole and Cora are married. Frank is Cole's son. Cora is the stepmom to Frank. Chloe is Frank's wife. <laughs> Then you have the hero teenage girl. That is Cora's yeah. daughter. So Frank plus teenage girl equals step siblings. Perfectly way to put it. But it is difficult to keep track. It truly is. And there was so many names that uh, I kind of gave up. Like by the other night, I, I couldn't even think straight. I, I was like. That's I, what you had before. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's my name? <laughs> uh, what is going on, Tara? What yeah, Where am I at? It was, what is happening? I just had way, way too much information in my head that I needed to unload, unload there. Yeah. Four children without mother's husband, without a wife, fiance, partner, so many other family members, beautiful women. That's what I've been saying all along. Crafty lady. Like it's not just Veronica and Jillian's children that are, that are affected by this. There's so many other children that are affected and other mm -hmm. families and other family members or members in the community that really thought these were like, you know, good people. And uh, I can't imagine, you know, waking up one day to find out that somebody you thought was a, you know, a, a pretty decent dude all of a sudden is, is uh, booked for murder charges and conspiracy mm -hmm. and all this. I, I can't imagine, but uh, I can tell you the Twombly's um, what I heard is that they used to be pretty decent people, but they're not quite like that anymore. And um, quite obviously, they're not so clearly. I am trying to get my phone's just like, ah! it's so blown <laughs> up, but I love it. I'm glad it is because it's the information is awesome that's coming in fast and quick. And Shannon, you're so nice. Oh. Let's see what else will be uh, correct. The butcher's not been named or arrested. And that's one thing too, uh, until things come out at the quote unquote official basis, we're not going to use full names. That's why we're not mentioning while we know Frank or Cole or any Twombly is not the butcher that we, of the Twombly's that have been mentioned, we're not going to say who is because if, there, if he's not involved, then why get him involved? Exactly. And, and I'm sure that, you know, his, his reputation has already been pretty much destroyed by this whole situation anyway. And, you know, I mean, there's this, there's a human side of me that says, well, you got your, you know, you got your ass into it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you're the one that did it. You knew what was going on, you know, behind closed doors. And, and I say that knowing a little bit more than what we were telling you right now, but, um, and I'm not saying like, horrible horrible things just things that, yeah. that that average person would side eye kind of thing basically exactly but um exactly as far as uh veronica's kids with veronica's dad now i did not meet veronica's dad uh, i have no proof of anybody meeting veronica's dad i have no doubt that that, that did happen um but i did meet wrangler's grandmother and what she told me is that she spent about three or four years helping raise those kids. So that grandmother has already has a relationship with the children. My understanding is Veronica's dad lives in West Virginia. That's what I've been told. I don't, I can't verify that, but um, I know that the grandmother Wrangler's grandmother, um, you know, she would absolutely like to get custody if possible. 
Um, but I, I don't know what's going to happen there. Yeah. I just know that Veronica does have enough family that is uh, more than happy to step in and uh, to take care of those children. Mermaid, will you put up the Watson's puzzle comment? I want to address that. I think that's important to address. It's a, it's time to 839. She's highlighting different things. So I was hoping she'd hear me to highlight that. Yeah, um, but um, I, there it is. And it says poor Jillian was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know that I can agree with that as awful as that probably sounds. But I think when I heard this case, I remember distinctly hearing pastor's wife. And I thought, well, why, how would a, a pastor's wife go missing? And I saw the photos of Veronica and Jillian. And then you start digging in and I got attached to this case right away. And I honestly think that if Jillian wasn't there, none of us would be here. I don't think we'd have four arrests. I think Jillian was the catalyst, was that special key that brought so much light to this case, whether or not it was used for selling stories and getting views, I don't care. Um, but if you had to look at a divine intervention in this whole situation, something special, it's Jillian. Boy, isn't that the truth? Boy, isn't that the truth? Because otherwise it would have been chalked up to something else and, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it wouldn't be where it is now. And these people that have been getting away with uh, basically harassing their community for years and years and years and threatening people and, and all sorts of, you know, bad stuff. Uh, if it, if it hadn't been for Jillian being with right. them and bless her heart, it's horrible. It is but horrible. It also, I don't know how to say this in a kind way. So if her family's in here, I'm really sorry. It's just that this, this is just how I feel. And I'm just going to say it. Had Jillian not been there, this would have no coverage whatsoever. So it would have been swept under the rug. Yes. And then this, this whole situation that's going on in the background over there, mm -hmm. but it continued for years and years longer. Yes. Yes. And the people there are, they're fed up with it. They're tired of it, you know? Yep. And yep. Um, so Jillian, you know, God love her. She, she, um, and, and so that's into a horrible situation. And I truly right. do not mean that cruel whatsoever. No, no. In fact, Emma Fleet's Good, um, I, mean, I, I want to say your last name. And if I was in a room by myself speaking what looks like Spanish, I could do it perfectly, but I can't in front of people. I'm just not good enough at my Spanish yet. Veronica was enough. She absolutely was. The issue though is Veronica was kind of a part of that community by way, by default because of her kids and granny. And so it would have been easy to get rid of Veronica by herself and nobody say anything because that is called no man's land for a reason. And Carrie can attest to this. And I heard it from some of the locals that contacted me, people go missing down there and they're never seen. They're never heard or seen from again. Um, and so it's an unfortunate blessing that Jillian was there so that we knew to look for both of them. That's the unfortunate catalyst that the, exactly. the, that's it's nothing against Veronica because it ended up she was the target and, and when, you, when you have a target you take them out without anybody realizing they're gone that's the whole point of it yeah. and if it was so easy for them to do this to these two I mean oh, how often do you get four people and I'm still saying that I think there's one or two more I mean I could yep, be wrong I but um how, how often do you see something like that where you can get a group of individuals that will go along with something like this? Usually it's like one or two people, you know, because you, you ride each other out and, you know, the other's going to turn on you or whatever. But to involve that many people is just, it's really strange, very strange. And the fact that Jillian was with Veronica that day very well in my heart and mind could have saved a lot of other people because if it was that easy for them to do it this time, have they done it before? Would they do it again? You never know. And to me, it looks like this was a, you know, this is like another another day on the farm to them. That I mean, mm -hmm. it, it just uh, it's just horrible. So yes, Kylie Cole did have another son, Vern, who died in 2020. Um, he was found deceased in his truck. Um, it was said that he fell asleep in his truck 
and he died from um, carbon dioxide poisoning. His dog was found with him. I'd kind of like to look into that a little bit. but I have thoughts on that, but it's complete theory and it's analysis of yeah what I've seen. And it, only because Kylie's put it out there, I feel comfortable to say something to it. Um, the suicide drug overdose, I kind of feel like that's a one and the same on this one. I don't know enough about it. Whispers from people who are like, I heard from a herd from a herd type of situation, but um, it does, there's been a lot of conversations about uh, meth being a problem for the youth in that area. And so that would align with all of that if that's the case. Um, but it's unfortunate that I can't imagine losing a child in, in any, at in any level for whatever reason. I so said that's that, that cannot help the mentality at all. No, not at all. Uh, Kylie said Frank had a lot to say today. What did he have to say today, Kylie? I mean, you, you can come up here if you want. I didn't see any. I, I mean, I wasn't looking at any of that stuff, to be honest. But uh, Some things have come to the... Are you saying in the group or otherwise, Kylie? Like on, his own, on, on his own Facebook page, probably. There's been a lot of folks that have sent me some Frank Facebook stuff, some Cole Facebook stuff. It is interesting stuff. I'm not going to lie or tell you any different, but um, yeah, Kylie, do you have any desire to come on and, and, and chat about what is, or clarify? Yeah. Cause I I'm just dropped, thinking the Facebook I stuff was the, interesting. Right. I just dropped the link in the, in the chat. Sweet. If you do want to Kylie. Yeah, I'm with you, Maggie. Like, I don't understand how you get a couple of friends to agree. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have any friends that would agree with this. In fact, they'd be like, no, no. I mean, what the heck? So that, that to me, that speaks a lot. That says a lot. That, that they would all be okay with something like this. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, well, I, I guess it goes back to having those tight bonds when you are a small group that gets together every Sunday. Um, that, and if you, I, I mean, we all know the person that plays the victim card in our lives. So maybe it's along those lines too, that and you've got enough pushing power. I, I, there's a lot to, there's a lot to go through on that one. Yeah. It's a lot to unpack. Um, Deborah Smith, um, you're in the back, uh, but you need to connect um, your mic. Uh, before I can add you, it says that your mic um, and your cam is not connected. So how many others were charged is what I was asking about. Others, thank you. Or thanks, Jillian and Veronica. There were four charged today. Um, and those names were the Cole Twombly, um, Cora Twombly, husband mm -hmm. and wife, Tad Colum, who is the boyfriend of Grandma, and Tiffany Adams. So grandma, grandma's boyfriend, and basically they're two kind of besties. Um, all four were arrested today. The other mm -hmm. one we were able to clarify earlier, because I know it's going to spread like wildfire. Uh, Shelly Harmon uh, is not connected to this. It just so happened to bless her heart. She got booked at the same time and it just appeared, you know, like it just appeared that way. So I'm, I feel safe saying I don't think that she has any involvement. Deborah, I'm going to drop you off for just a moment and then um, you come back up. You'll just need to uh, connect your mic and stuff. So you want to hear how all this took place. I feel like they were lured in going to Tiffany's house. Well... What I can tell you, well, all right, hold on. Okay, Cora, give me just a moment. Oh, she just dropped back down. You can come back up if you want to. So I know that a lot has been said, and, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to say this without giving away the information. Um, Deborah, it says it's still not connected. Um, but as far as like, were they lured into going to Tiffany's house or what have you now? I kind of thought that originally, but then I went back through all my messages today, 
all my messages. And um, what I can tell you is that Jillian's family is firmly convinced that what happened did occur where the car was found. So Jillian's husband, is, he is, that's what he thinks. So they don't believe that there was another place and then they were lured in or the car was brought over or all the, you know, the other stuff, which I did kind of think that in the beginning, because I'm like, how in the world at this area that just doesn't even make any sense. But somehow it looks like they were able to uh, pull that off. Um, Deborah, you can like, you want to call in? She said she doesn't have a mic or a cam, Tara. Oh, I do not know how that, uh, on the phone, maybe. Can she just do it on the phone? Yeah, let me see. Uh, so I have I'm, not, so I've not used this before. So <laughs> forgive me if it's, uh, if it doesn't, you just want to listen. Okay. Well, if you, if you just want to listen, I'm, okay, I'm going to take you down from here. And I'm going to uh, bring Kylie up. And if you and Kylie can talk for just a moment, Tara. Yeah, absolutely. I need Hello, to Kylie. I need, I need to step away for just a moment. <laughs> I'll be right back. You are good. Kylie, are you there? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I can't hear you. That's not good. Oh, no. Hold Harry, on. come back. There you are. I, I can hear Kylie. Are you driving, Kylie? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I figured okay. you were. Oh, okay. no. Okay. I can't hear Kylie. This happens to me every time another uh, somebody else comes on the panel. And so, Carrie, do, um, I can hop out and come back in if you want me to. If you want, if you can hold off long enough for me to do that real quick, it'll yeah, take about right fifteen ahead. seconds. Go I'll right be ahead. right back. So, Kylie, um, she was going to basically kind of talk about um, Frank's. Uh, so, Frank is the one that threatened us the day that we planned on going and searching out at the school at the school is where they have land uh right behind it and uh that's where they you know hold their their meetings on wednesdays and sundays what have you frank is the one that had made a threat now looking back i showed my husband he's like well maybe that wasn't really a direct threat to you it was like you know a comment on the the a, a post but whatever i took it as you don't want to come out here kind of thing yeah. so that was good enough for me but uh kylie <laughs> you want to talk about that for a minute what uh what's going on with frank today uh he's just he's got something up his panties right now um i mean i don't really blame him <laughs> um so i don't really know him um i know his stepbrother stepbrother's cool as shit um big fan of him but they're completely different people did not grow up in the same households kind of situation um and i'm not going to bring him into it but Wait, give frank me give is, me just one moment tara can you hear her now i can hear her now if she can perfect. hear me perfect i'll yeah. be right back I'm thank good. you hey kylie how frank are you doing is, i'm good how are you <laughs> good so you're talking about i i heard stepbrother so i assume we're talking about frank Okay, you cut out. Oh, are we talking about Frank, the stepbrother? Is that what I heard? Yeah, we were talking about Frank. Oh. Okay. Frank is the full br the full brother. He is uh, Cole's kid. Yes, that was my understanding. Yes. Yeah. So he is, um, yeah, Cole's only son now, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what all's going on. He said, I've been getting a lot of screenshots today. I haven't really been on any groups much today, but I've been getting a ton of messages. He's been posting like, uh, all you motherfuckers, or sorry, I don't know if I can cuss on here. All you MFers. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to um, keep are going. Keeping, are keeping our days um, exciting. Um, I, I hope that the girls are... Uh, how did you word it? Pretty much in their best way. What's that? You cut out. 
He's almost, he was, um, I mean, you could take his post a couple of ways, right? Like either passive aggressive, snarky, yeah, supportive, like, or just outright a threat. <laughs> yeah, like his posts are all coming off as though he definitely knows something. But like he's making it seem like he doesn't know anything, you know? Okay. It, it's just really weird to me. Um, I don't, I don't know. It, yeah. It's did you talk to Frank? Weird. I did not. I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and so I um, missed the first, obviously I could not hear it to hop out, hop back in. What was the first part of your conversation with Carrie? Oh, that um, he was the one that threatened them about the school situation whenever they were going to go out there. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. I'm following now. I didn't, I was trying to come in on context. I wasn't, um, <laughs> so, um, oh, I had something, my phone, our phones are blowing up like crazy. Um, so I guess the big yeah, question so for some folks, and there's some comments in the, there, there's some comments coming in. And I'm sure you've seen and heard it all yourself. Um, I think you yeah. run a Facebook page too. I could not find it. It doesn't mean anything, uh, but I I could not find your page. So I don't know, you have a Facebook page on the same thing? I do not know. Okay, I you don't. I don't know where that rumor came from. Okay. Well, I, I know where that rumor came from, but I'm not gonna say it. Um, That's okay. But I do not. <laughs> Okay, so you don't have one. That's why I'm like, nope, I I'm, can't find any that's linked to you, but I, was, I don't know I, about I that. A friend. I was just a friend that wanted some answers. Okay. So I got some um, answers. And so when you said you got some answers, were you, oh, she's going to show her screen. I'm not. Carrie, you're going to have to tell me what you're showing. Nope, you're not showing anymore. <laughs> Every time her screen tries to present, it never shows me. And I don't, <laughs> oh, this. I don't know how this thing works, but I'm not StreamYard savvy, so, but it seemed like an easy answer. Um, okay, so you wanted some answers. How did you go about getting those answers? I came out here and- You did. Like, yeah, I came out here and I, I lived here for six years until I got divorced. And I okay. just recently moved in January. So everybody still knows me very well. Mm -hmm. Um, whether it be good or bad, most people <laughs> like me very well. A few people very much do not like me, and you know who you are. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the comments have talked for themselves on those ones. Well, but, and it, all, all can have their opinions. There's nothing wrong with an opinion. They don't have to be in your favor or not in your favor. That's, well, the, the that is life in general. Like, the thing about small towns is you go two ways, is you're either okay. really, really liked or you're really, really hated. And like, whenever you divorce a big name, it goes one of two ways. <laughs> okay. So if, if, so you moving away was probably, you didn't, it didn't go your way and, or it's just a, a job or, and you don't have to answer. I don't want to pry and put you in a weird position either. Um, oh, I mean, I just moved back home. I'm not from here. Oh, okay. Okay. Like I, I had no reason to be in Kansas. I moved here for him. That's right, because Elkhart is, I keep forgetting, Elkhart is in Kansas, but it's right there on the border, correct? Correct, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Yeah. it's like two miles from where the car was found, so it's right on the line. Yeah, it's very close, okay. <laughs> yeah, everybody so you were right. are very confused. So real okay. quick, I was just sharing what uh, Frank had to say that day. That was a... Uh, 
we were about probably 15 minutes away from that school area where they have their meetings and the family lives, you know, they all, they all kind of live out there. Um, so that's what I was sharing here. That's what he had sent as we were on our way. And he very well knew that we were on our way because he was watching a live. So that's why I shared that. I'm going to take it off the screen now, but you can see what he had to say there. Is that the one I've seen before? It is. I can't yeah. see your screen when you when you show something on the screen. I don't yeah, it was it. his. Uh, it was his MF or comp comment and stuff. Yeah, but I, I hadn't been able to share it because I didn't have a computer. But yeah, that's all that was. But I was just showing you that. Yeah, he he did indeed do that. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, continue on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're you're good. I'm I'm back to getting some um uh, I've got folks texting in different things to me and so um Oh, keep going, Kylie. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, you're good. But yeah, I just I came down for oh gosh, I can't remember what day I came down after it all happened. Um I don't know, Kylie, give her a break. Uh, some people... I can't read the comments. So, the one on the screen, it says, I don't know, Kylie, but give her a break. Some people laugh when nervous. Maybe she isn't a pro at panels. I'm not getting the impression she thinks anything is funny. I, I agree. This is... We're not gonna... We're not gonna bash people here. That's not about that. We, we're giving Kylie an opportunity to speak. Um, I've seen a lot of negativity about her. I know she's seen it. She's already addressed that. So, you know what? Let's give her an opportunity to speak to her experience with this whole situation because I think she deserves that space. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you coming up here and talking and stuff. And um, yeah, our chat does need to show some respect. And if you have issues, you can do it, you know, away from away from this YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. No, I'm literally a nobody. I've never been on this before. I don't know how this works. Um, and I'm driving right now. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So just a, you don't know. So, Amy, so you're, if that's an area you were familiar with, you wanted to go down there, check it out maybe help out i don't yeah, know that so, that's unreasonable by any means yeah so whenever it happened like it was the day before easter we went to the canyons we normally have easter at the canyons we went down to the canyons to clean up the little area because trees and stuff can get all yucky down there cleaned it up so everybody was okay with the area and then we got back up to cell service and my dad's phone went off and I kind of made a joke, which now that I look back, it was inappropriate, but I made a joke. I was like, oh no, like another missing kid from Louisiana. Because you know, it's never an Amber Alert from local. Right. Because it really never is around here. like. It sounds really, really bad now that I think about it, but here it's never local. Like, a missing kid is terrible, but it's never around here. And then, like, 10 or 15 minutes later, I get the Amber Alert on my phone and I look at it and I see the name and it said Veronica Butler. And it said red hair. I was like, holy crap. So I immediately, like, I call my ex-husband. I was like, oh, my God, what's happening? And he, like, tells me the rundown, like, what he knew about it. I was like, okay, well, let me know if you hear of anything else. Or, you know, just, like, keep me in the loop because he still lives here. Um, so I didn't hear anything the first day or much, and then a few of our friends kept me in the loop for the second day. The third day, one of my friends where I live now, we got together because she knew Veronica. We got together and we came down to Elkhart. We looked at everything. We came, um... We came down. 
Um, and we like came to where the car was. The cops asked us, I guess, because we were parked there for a little bit. The lieutenant from Texas County came down. She was like, what are you guys doing here? I was like, we're just looking if that's okay. She was like, yeah, that's fine. And she took our name and kind of just gave us the okay that we could be there. And we sat there for a little bit longer. We were kind of just curious as to what everybody was saying because for the first couple of days, all of the groups were kind of just bashing all of the cops like, there's nothing really going on. There's no search, search parties and all of this stuff. And just kind of going on about it. And me being so far away, I was kind of baffled. Because again, they were just nonstop bashing everybody. And I just wanted answers and I couldn't get answers if I wasn't seeing anything. So talked to them, got my own answers. Then we went to um, Four Corners where they were supposed to meet Tiffany, looked to see if any, I could find anything out of the ordinary, I guess. There was like glass on the ground, but there's normally always glass on the ground. That's kind of where all of the teenagers drink and throw beers at the stop signs and stuff, because that's just what you do when you live in the middle of nowhere. There's not a whole lot else to do. Um, yeah, you, you booze, Chris? You booze, <laughs> right. Um. And then, yeah, we just, I came down every day after that for a few other days that next day i came down i met with clinton veronica's dad we talked are you there can you hear me carrie can you hear me hello oh, i can uh, I, I can hear you not kylie uh, quite so much oh okay so i can't hear i can see i can't hear her but i can see the her audio is gone kylie are you there yes can you hear me Okay, let me drop her. Hello? Let me drop her down real quick. Oh, crap. Is she driving? Yes, she is. Oh, okay. That was that background. Okay. So that was that background noise. Okay. Crap. Um, I wonder if... Well, that... Okay. So we're new to StreamYard. I don't know if the driving was an issue or what, but... I'm very new um, to StreamYard. <laughs> but I, I did want to answer this question. Um or it's not a question a statement patricia isn't it isn't a scary area it's very rural it's not scary at all like the people there are amazing it's not scary if you've ever lived in a rural area it's just not scary it's just a rural area i mean there's not you know a lot of people from you know you might go 10 minutes and not see anybody but nothing's scary about it whatsoever so <laughs> um, it's beautiful out there i was as some of the pictures you guys were showing and some of the things I've seen on, you know, Google maps and all that great fun jazz. It, it, the, the terrain goes for miles. It's flat. And you can see some of the best storms coming in. It's, it's, it's some of the best sunsets would be down there. So it's beautiful country. It's, That's it's not amazing. designed to be scary at all. Um, as far as glass on the ground at the scene, I, I, I've not heard that once yet. Not once. So I'm not, I'm not sure about I, that. So Maybe I'm gonna address I, that. Cause it's I might have stepped that. away because I, I don't know where <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I had stepped away, but yeah, I, do, I have not heard the class. But you can address that. I'll tell you, I had heard that once before, um, out, um, and I didn't know where it was, so I kept it quiet. I'd seen it in a few comments, and so when I ta started talking with you, Carrie, I never mentioned it, and I thought, well. If she brings it up, great. We can investigate that. But until that happens, because normally you bring up something and I kind of had something to that we could build off of that. Or you'd give me something to go look up and it was great. But then I recognize you guys, um, there's video out there that was, um, that was put out there at one point 
I was like, wait a second. They're looking directly at the ground where the car was at. There's no glass anywhere, nowhere. And that's what took that out of the, that I, I took that out of the, the, the formula at that point. I just didn't see how that was possible. So I'm not sure where that information came from or yeah, how it got going. Either. Danielle, rumors always. Uh, rumors roll. They're good stories. Oh goodness. What else have we got in the chat? Dick is So somebody said that both bodies have been recovered. I, I do you have verification of that, Tara? I don't. I was looking, I just saw that. I was looking for that. Let me right. go back to my phone and if somebody does, yeah. Um yeah, it is heartbreaking. It is absolutely. They're always heartbreaking, but this just feels, I don't know. I think because there's just so much to it. So many people involved, so many families involved, so many children involved. You know, typically we're used to dealing with just one set of children or one child. And in this case, there's going to be a whole lot that is affected. Um, and that to me is very heartbreaking that mm -hmm. um, somebody would do this to, to so many different, so many people. Okay, so Kylie said, sorry, that class was at Four Corners, not the car scene. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if there's class at Four oh, Corners. Okay. Um, if it's anything like when I was in high school in small town Oklahoma, we go sit on the corner and drink our beers and what have you. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, it might be kind of the same way there. I wouldn't be it surprised be. one bit. That makes sense. Okay. All right. So Lori says, all I know is these ladies on, you're not talking about this podcast, right? <laughs> It said they okay. found the bodies. Okay, so I'm not sure about that. But there, so we, we didn't say both bodies were found. We've heard that no. Jillian's has been recovered. And yeah. Jillian's mom has been on Facebook stating that Jillian has passed. And so other reports have come in. They're not official. We're not seeing anything from officials. We're getting details. We're getting things from the people that we have created relationships with that say, hey, XYZ has happened. And then you kind of try to connect the dots. And so we don't know for certain that both women have been recovered. Am I still Sorry. there? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm here. Our phones are going crazy. And the chat's going crazy. Yeah. And I the... try to keep an eye on it just in case yes. there is something that does come through. But it's all I can't, good. It's all good. I really can't keep um, up with that. At the they already time. said Jillian's family has already said they recovered the body. Okay. So I think that's what I saw too. I think we mentioned that earlier on the live is that they, um, that they have recovered Jillian's body and they were going after Veronica's next. Um, Okay, about 45 minutes ago, we all talked about that. Okay, so. Um, we did also talk a little bit earlier. Um, it was brought up about um, Vern, who is the other son of Cole, um, that he had passed in 2020. Somebody did just send me a message and said, for a fact, Vern died from a carbon monoxide poisoning incident. Him and his dog fell asleep in his pickup. No one was there, and he was found two days later. Autopsy showed no substances in his body. Okay. All right. Do we have that GoFundMe for Jillian? I have posted them both in you the did? chat. Okay. Yeah, if you – let me help you find them so you can highlight them. They'll be easier for every – well, I don't know if they can – because I posted about probably 20 minutes ago. If I knew how to do it myself, so that would be I, more helpful. Uh, yeah, I missed it all. So I just posted the number. If you, um, if you'd like to talk, like if you want to talk about the situation or what you know, or you just want to talk about the women, um, whatever, you're welcome to call uh, the number on the screen. I will say I have not used it before or done it before, but I'm sure we'll figure it out real quick. Uh, but if you're not comfortable coming up on panel and you'd like to discuss it, um, you can call in and uh, we'll be able to hear you and you can talk that way. Perfect. Yeah. If you are not a part of the Facebook group, that's um, go find it. I will drop the link there. The GoFundMe's are there. I did post them there. 
Thank you very much. Absolutely. That's what I'm here right. for. So I knew this would come along because there's new people coming into this every single day. And uh, that's perfectly fine that, that you're not aware. That's totally fine. I'm glad that you're here and you're interested. Um, so to sum up the connection between the two missing and the grandma arrested. Well, Veronica Butler is the grandmother's. Um, <clears throat> so her children, Veronica and the grandmother's son, Wrangler, have two children together. Wrangler has been gotten himself in some trouble here. He's been in jail, not prison. I keep hearing he's not been it's not prison, but he's been in jail. He, uh, he was recently released. He had to go straight to rehab. But there has been an ongoing custody battle for many years between all of them. And it's not necessarily my, the way I read it, and this is my opinion, is not necessarily between Veronica and Wrangler. This custody battle was between Grandma and Veronica. Grandma wanted the kids. There is a little bit more to it, but um, really that kind of summarizes it up. They had an upcoming court meeting. Veronica was trying to get custody of her children, or right now she just had visitation every Saturday. She was trying to get uh, custody or at least more visitation. And that was coming up, I think, the 21st of this month. Is that right? I think the 17th. Seven, I, 17th okay. That was the other day I had in my head. So it's probably the 17th. Uh, they had a court date scheduled for the 17th where that was to be heard. And um, a week ago, Saturday, uh, Veronica had a lady named Jillian with her, Jillian Kelly. Um, Jillian, uh, Veronica had to have supervised visitations. And Jillian happened to be a, one of the ladies on the list that could supervise those visits. So Veronica and Jillian take off at about, well, I think it's eight o'clock in the morning. Um, mm -hmm. and they head that way to go meet, uh, grandmother with the children, like they're supposed to do. Um, J uh, Veronica had seen the children two weeks prior. So I know there's been rumor that they hadn't seen them since July or November. No, she, they had seen them two weeks prior. Um, and when they didn't arrive back home, their husband expected them back home by, I think it was around 10. Uh, the phone pinged, I, I, believe, I believe it was like 9.38. I'm really bad at my memory. I believe the phone pinged, say, around 9.38. At 9.42, the phone was dead. Um, they did not arrive back home by 10 like they were expected to. And uh, the fiancé um, and the, uh, the husband of the other, I guess they, they went out and they started looking for him. And, uh, and so that's, that's where we're at now. And then today there were four arrests made um, and the grandmother and her boyfriend are two of those people. Um, they're friends who are also a part of this. Uh, the, I guess the best way to, for me to describe it is a religious kind of organization. Um, but that is all about the constitution, their rights. They want to be sovereign citizens, that kind of thing. And um, so that's where we're at. They, they just arrested those four people this afternoon. And like I've said many times, I, I still believe that there's going to be more to come. Um, again, um, I'm not sure that there are multiple scenes. Um, one of the family members does not seem to think that there are. He, he yeah. does think that um, because he was on the scene, um, he does think that everything that occurred actually did occur where the car was found. So I hope that hopefully that answers it. That's just like the quickest summary I can give because there's just so much to it. Um, that is really, I mean, it's really interesting, but it's also just sick and demented at the same time. It is. It's, it's a lot to, it's a lot to unpack. Yeah. Melanie Little's great too. Yeah. I was able to grab most all those court documents as well before. Oh, you are outstanding. Yeah. They're, they're sitting in the discord. I just haven't had a chance to do anything with any of, of all of that stuff that I have yet, but I do have the majority of them. Um, yep. cause that's like the first thing I do. So thankfully it is the first thing I do because they went, they got locked down like maybe what, two days later, I think. A few people came in here and said that about the bodies. One was a supposed insider who was anonymous. 
that person emailed Carrie and Tara. They weren't saying it was confirmed. They were replying, yeah. The only one that we really confirm is Jillian at this point. And I don't see anything. I don't see anything else that says anything about that Veronica has found been found. But the last we know, they were looking into it. They were they were digging in a specific area for. So let's see. All right. Anything else? There's a lot, but I think we can probably do a second live and a third live because oh my gosh, yes, multiple it, like episodes. Is, basically, yeah. that's kind of how I was trying to like pull it out today. I was like, okay, <laughs> well, first one we could do the background and kind of the connection right. between these these different families and the friends and how they're all connected. And, and the second we could kind of go into the court documents, you know, so it, but it, there's no way you could do it. You know, I like to keep the lives fairly short and this one's already at two hours. Yeah. So, um, yes. I, I so like that's what we'll time. plan for next time, right? Let's yeah. we can break down a timeline and go into the family tree and start building the picture for everybody that we have, which will probably clarify some of our picture too, given all the information, mean, it's, it's amazing that how this becomes a full-time job very quickly. So there's a lot going on, but I, I think we should do another one and just start breaking the thing down Absolutely. and paint the picture for everybody. Yep. That's what we'll do good. next time. We'll just start from, from square one and kind of, you know, give you a real factual background um, on everything. And then we'll go from there. Um, they are, Yes, they are using an excavator. Um, they are still searching for Veronica. And th they obviously have a pretty good idea of where um, they were because their grandmother did confess. Allegedly, she yeah. did confess. So um, she probably in that confession probably told them where they could find them. But yep. um, it might not be it might not be real easy. So um, that's the last that we heard. Grandma did indeed threaten a judge. Yeah. That judge is indeed on 24-7 protection. Um, that judge is the one that overturned the initial ruling that Veronica would have full custody. Um, Wrangler, the kid's dad, or I mean, I'm going to say it's probably more grandma, um, took it back to court and filed an appeal and Wrangler got custody. And the mm -hmm. judge that is on 24-7 uh, watch, she is the judge that... Uh, that did that appeal. And she's also the judge that grandma did in fact, um, threaten in court. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yep. a little, a little crazy. I'm not sure how she wasn't arrested right then and there, but she wasn't. So yeah. anyway, all right. Well, I hopefully we were able to give you guys a little bit of information and answer some of the questions that you had. If you have any others, uh, feel free to ask them in the Facebook group. Um, we're more than happy to answer, you know, anything that we can for you. Uh, but I appreciate Absolutely. everybody being here. Tara, I always appreciate you very, very much. And um, the mods, thank you so much. Um, all of you guys being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you for your interest in the case. And just because there's been arrests, we can't stop now. Um, that's my feeling. We need to keep going. There's a little bit more exposing, I think, that needs to take place. And that's my intention. So um, I plan on seeing it through. Um, I can't wait to uh, see them eye to eye in the courtroom. That'll be that'll be my highlight of my day for sure. So um, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yep. All right. All righty. Until next time. Yes. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, take care of each other. Be safe. And we'll see you soon. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. You're worth it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.